Hello my soccer universe and welcome to what's for now the last part of my Premier League jersey review. Uh, it might be that there will be a jersey or two popping up again and maybe I'll smash them all together in a uh, shorter review all over the leagues. I don't know how, how I will do but it's pretty complete I think what I found so far. There might be the occasional jersey or the occasional jersey that I got wrong. I think in Spain I got the jersey wrong or something like that. But anyway. Let's get right to it. Watch the first video for a full explanation of how I came up that these are not the teams uh, we're talking about. But I can say there are some big names in this video. And we start out with a very big name. We'll end with a very big name. Probably the smallest name is in the middle. There's a nice symmetry to this video, I gotta say. And we're really gonna start out with what I think is the most highly anticipated jersey of all of the big European clubs and I'm talking of course about the new Arsenal kits since Arsenal moved from Puma to Adidas a move that I honestly welcome because none of the Puma Arsenal kits were really convincing to me there was always an element that just didn't feel right and didn't make it look quite Arsenal I, I remember even thinking yeah I have this nice Nike Arsenal kit it's time to get one with the new crest, but really, Puma, what are you doing? You kind of, either the shoulders were too white, I mean, everything was white, or there was just uh, some weird, there was too little white on the shoulders. I mean, it was odd from the get-go, I would say, and it didn't get much better. Adidas now presents us with an almost super classic Arsenal shirt. I mean... Arsenal with uh, Adidas stylings um, that you would come to expect. We get red jersey, white sleeves as we would want to have, and then there's some accents. I mean, I really like the color and uh, even Adidas refrains from going too much branding. I mean, you could have sp spread out the navy and the red to make it three stripes. No, they didn't do that. And it actually looks quite nice. Also, the sleeve cuffs, um, while a little bit odd, also look nice. The Again, red and navy, there's a certain cohesion due to this jersey that's really, really nice. And the navy is in there to kind of counterbalance what we see on the crest. I like that there are only three stripes on the shoulders uh, and only on the shoulders, like on a true uniform. Absolute modern day classic of a typical Adidas, your typical Adidas Arsenal shirt. Um, <laughs> I want to say that gold in the crest bothers me most and that doesn't say much. Nine stars, really, really great start in the Adidas Arsenal renewal of the relationship. Uh, the away jersey was then all when we got the first leaks, it will be based on the Bruce Banana kit. Uh, I even wrote a blog post that I think that the current Columbia jersey will be that. No, they made their own, but it's still Bruce Banana related, but not quite. Yes, it's the yellow with the navy. I'm glad to see this combination back for the Arsenal away shirt. Uh, that's got to be said 100%, 100%. But, you know, it's not so much Bruce Banana as instead there's a zigzaggy pattern going all over. Yes, if you want, you can see the Bruce Banana, but the Bruce Banana was a little bit wilder, not a, little, a lot wilder, to be honest. Here, it's almost too geometric. Still, it's great to see yellow as an away color with navy and probably navy pants uh, back. I really cannot complain much. Even the crest, although it's completely lost, keep the full color crest on there. Looks nice, uh, gives it a certain arsenal touch. Um, I like that one too. Not as much as the home jersey though, uh, but I'll, so I'll give this eight stars. And crucify me, but I think that this is the pick of the pack almost. Nah, I think the home home just is really nice. Um, navy with yellow. We had this once under Nike, which was probably, you know, around the 2000s, probably my favorite Arsenal shirt. And I didn't buy because I said, I need a classic Arsenal shirt, although I really like that navy one better. So this is basically the same thing. It really, really looks nice. Navy with gold. Great combination. Now here we have a monochromatic crest, which probably fits better with the jersey. I wonder if there was a splash of red on there. Wouldn't it look similar to the away jersey and it would look nice? Also note the color, similar to the Manchester United. This is 
uh, Nike inspired. I would say, why do we have this? I know that Adidas had this in 2012, 13 on the Milan. There had some colors that had similar stylings, but it didn't go all around. So uh, this is really like Nike did it. So you come out with a trend that everyone hates and everyone else is copying it. I have to say. Still, doesn't distract me from the overall greatness that is this jersey. I also give this 9 stars. I think for 10, it's uh, just a uh, special something missing. But Arsenal, probably the best looking team this season, at least when it comes to jerseys. Not sure about uh, performances. I'm also glad to see another big name back. Uh, we go all the way up to Birmingham, Aston Villa. And Kappa gave Villa, typically Villa shirts. We see... Maroon base, light blue sleeves. I said it with Burnley, I now say it, this is gorgeous. What's not so gorgeous is maybe the sponsor because it's a little bit too colorful, but it still sort of kind of fits in with the color scheme because there's the yellow lion on the crest. So maybe a slight connection there. Also the sleeve patch gives a little bit too much maroon on there. Um, I find the sleeve cuffs a little bit uh, weird because they are kind of open on the top. But other than that, nice looking jersey. I think this is one of the definitely one of the nicer Aston Villa jerseys as of late. I'm very willing, I'm very happy to give this uh, also. Uh, sponsor. I give it 8 stars because the sponsor is not per perfect. I was thinking 9, but this is really nice looking. Uh, the away shirt also. Just take the light blue, make, get rid of all the maroon, make it light blue, and do you see the sponsor? Now it's all maroon. It makes sense, looks nice. And then in addition, you have this quartered uh, look that I think Adidas had in the mid-90s as well. And I think Liverpool copied this on an away shirt a couple of seasons ago. Uh, this quartered look here is just made with white and you barely see it, but it's there and gives some visual interest. I think it's also a really nice shirt. Um, and I like that it's not too colorful. Also gonna give this eight stars. Aston Villa, you also look really nice. Welcome back to the Premier League. Well, I spoke too early because the third shirt, and this is only rumored for now. I have not seen a more legit picture than this one. Maybe when I make this video, maybe, maybe I'll see something better. The third shirt is dark green with black and orange. Awful. <laughs> Honestly, uh, even this hazy picture, it just looks awful to me. A monochromatic crest, I don't like it. I mean, even make it if you make it all dark green, it would be better. But the black sleeves are really off-putting. Although I know this is kind of mimicking the design of the Villa home shirt. That one is awful, and yeah, just for the color combination alone, this is a two-star jersey. Sorry, Villa. The first two had you had me right there. The third one, not so much. <laughs> Sorry. Also another one that we need to get used to is Crystal Palace with their new Puma shirts. Um, the first thing that I thought when I saw this, this is a Bayern Munich kit. Second, again, uh, Nike is throwing its influence there. You see the color not just stopping here? I mean, Puma had this before, but now it goes outline like the Nike uh, color. Also, the Raglan sleeves, you know, it's kind of a Nike-ish design. Um, the blue and red stripes are a little bit lightened up by having the blue have kind of these white streaks through it, which I'm not sure are all that necessary. And then kind of there is this double edge. So you have blue, then a very thin red, then a very thin blue, and then red again. I think this is what they're doing here. Uh, it always looks confusing when uh, teams do that. But I think Bayern Munich had similar jerseys, maybe not with the... Uh, white in there, but I thought this of Bayern Munich when I saw this shirt. Less Barcelona than Bayern Munich, although Bayern Munich will never have a shirt like that, at least in the foreseeable future. I don't, I already hated the sponsor on an, another jersey. I don't recall now who it was. Um, the jersey is all over a little bit too much. Uh, I like the color combinations too, but I think I cannot go higher than five stars on that one. Uh, the away jersey, though, I think is something really interesting. Do you remember the Egypt jersey with all the swirls? This takes it now to the next level. We have it black, we have the swirls there. We also have the club colors 
in red on the proper um, right and in blue on the proper left. So you see this on the form stripes and then you have the center stripe in blue and red, but only where the swirls come and in between it's black. I have to say this is interesting. I know this is a contentious opinion of mine, but I actually really liked this when the first time I saw it. You could have just gotten with the center stripe, which we already would have looked nice, but here you make it a little bit more interesting. Yes. You have this organic pattern, then you have it uh, done by a strict line cut off. So there is that, but it still makes it more interesting. The sponsor is my main problem with the shirt though. Uh, other than that, I really like this one. I'm gonna give this, don't crucify me, but I'm gonna give this seven stars. I would have loved if they would let the pattern a little bit breathe more. Go beyond that center stripe, just a tad bit, you know, let it flow a little. That I would have liked a little bit better, but you know, this one, it looks quite nice. I like the color combinations and that probably is why I like it so much. Um, I shouldn't think too much about it. This is seven star jersey. And similarly interesting is the third jersey, which is the white one uh, with the sash. And the sash usually works well and you would expect the sash also in two color sash here but what do we get we get uh i should have done it the other direction of course this way we get that it's red bordered by blue but then it stops and it comes blue again uh it is not your typical sash it also looks kind of puma looks kind of interesting i understand the sponsor needs to be in black but that's the least last thing we needed also the green on the sleeve sponsor is probably not so nice i like the cold color with the shoulder form stripe that actually looks nice. You can see the color goes all the way around. That looks nice. Um, sash looks nice. I think only the sponsor drops it from being really great, but I still think I give this seven stars. I, I think that looks all right-ish. To Newcastle. Oh, this should be an anniversary shirt of, I read this, some European achievement, uh, some FA Cup win, whatever. It just uh, completely botches it by using the wrong width of the stripes and it's just... Newcastle is a mess at the moment. I am really sorry, sorry to say. They should be a big team in England. They should be playing on in on the front, uh, top of the table, not fear for relegation because of uh, incapable club ownership. Uh, this jersey takes the nice black and white idea down to the crest, you have everything centered, which is maybe all right. I prefer it uh, separate. I would have preferred this in the white, but even the crest is monochromatic, which I'm not so happy about. Because if you look at the Newcastle here, I really like the uh, crest, but I think on the black it pops a little bit more. But it's all destroyed by the sponsor. Why is the sponsor in light blue? I know why, because that's how they are for the company color. But it's just destroys it. Also, uh, you have it on the right, the Chinese character characters, but it's something missing. There's a real hole. It makes a whole jersey that actually looks overall nice, but it makes it into a mess. And that only gives it for me six stars. Could have been much, 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 much better. Although uh, there's a lot of things to like. Thinner straps though, definitely. The away jersey takes kind of a dark, deep, foresty green and mixes it with black on the top again, making it top heavy where already the logos are, which doesn't make much sense to me. And then you have the form stripe. So um, it's definitely more in the messy part. But yeah, does it get the job done? Probably. Is it great? Not really. And again, it's a monochromatic crest in there. So also not that crazy about that one. Sponsor, here it's in white. It makes much more sense. I mean, if we would, if we could do something about the sponsor on the home jersey, I don't know exactly what, at least make it red to match up with the red numbers that New Newcastle usually has. Then. And this is the other disconnect. Blue in front, red on the back. Here, um, I think it looks all right-ish. We still have the hole on the left over the 88, um, but still average jersey, five stars. And then Newcastle gives us something to fun to look at with an orange jersey with again, some shadows inspired probably by some building that I don't know what it should be. Um, 
all over. So with orange and navy, which is not a bad color combination, we still have a monochromatic crest, which actually lets the seahorses completely disappear. Uh, that was not a good choice, I gotta say. Because um, the dominant color is not the navy, it's the orange. Um, and then it's a whole mess uh, going all over. I don't like orange, I don't dislike the orange and navy, I think that's all right, uh, but other than that, too much pattering, uh, crest is a mess. <laughs> yeah, I want to go four star. Uh, it's a fun jersey in a way, but if uh, I would have loved it a little bit better. And then the last teams are last year's Champions League finalists, and the reason why I'm wearing the white England jersey here. Um, Spurs. Spurs get a classic Spurs kit, except for the red sponsor, which, yeah, why can't it be navy? The kit overall I like. I really like the gradient last year, except for European uh, ties where it looked weird. I think there they should have just dropped it and made uh, specific European kits. Use something like this here. This one, your classic Spurs kit in a way. You have the nice crest, you have the navy sleeve cuffs. Why is the color only a V here and doesn't go around? This is what kind of uh, bothers me with this jersey, to be honest. Other than that, this would be an absolute outstanding one. But with that one, it bugs me too much because there's not, not too many other features on here. For that reason, only seven stars. I love Spurs jerseys. This could be much, much higher. The away kit, also, there is, in principle, there are good things there. Navy and white. But then you put some purple patterning on there, similar to the Puma, which again, <clears throat> just doesn't work. Do you see the sponsor? It's not in red here. So it should have been in purple that we don't see it. <laughs> uh, again, really nice jersey, except why the purple and the patterning? It doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, it's probably inspired by one of those uh, Hummel kits that Spurs had in the 80s. That's why we have this weird striping. I just would prefer a simple navy kit with some slight special accents, but not in purple. But still, that's a nice one. Nah, I also give it seven stars, like the home kit. And then there is also a third kit that is not, I think, yet officially issued. But that is very interesting. It's in light blue, also a Spurs color. It has heavy patterning, similar to the Barcelona um, third jersey with a nice color in the style that um, I think uh, Puma Italy 2012 had. You have, have the button and then you have kind of this fold over that comes here in a point. Um, and also kind of purplish uh, navy, maybe. The pattern is not a flag, it's inspired by the facade of the new stadium. I do like the color com 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 combination here. It looks really nice overall and I would actually think this is the best of the pack. Uh, I wish there was no purple on the navy jersey, honestly. This one looks nice. I give this eight stars. Uh, it's a really nice third jersey. Uh, one that I would expect to see here and there. Note also the very old style Nike logo. And believe it or not, Spurs were the last team that I was covering in my Premier League jersey review. Last, but definitely not least. Let me know what you thought about the jerseys in this part of the video. Uh, drop a comment below whether you agree, disagree with me, how you would rate them. I would really be interested. Please drop comments below. Also, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more jersey reviews. I think, not quite decided whether I do Serie A or whether I do Bundesliga first. For Serie A, I have a better background. For Bundesliga, um, yeah, it's a little bit more pressing because the Bundesliga is already playing second round. and. While I'm shooting this, uh, Colin and Dortmund are already playing, so I gotta go down. Um, anyway, subscribe to my channel if you want to see other jersey reviews, collection of mine, new jerseys that I get, and also game reviews and any other thing that comes around in my soccer universe. I think it's worth it for you if you like this video and if you like what I'm doing. Anyway, I will talk to you soon, hopefully, and I'll see you there. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, 
I wish you a wonderful day. Bye.